Hey everyone, my name's Ramal and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'll be going over why I chose the 12.9 inch iPad Pro over the 11 inch from a student's perspective. I was initially set on buying the 11 inch iPad Pro because it was small, compact, easy to carry around and cheaper than the 12.9 inch model. But after I tried out the 11 inch alongside the 12.9 inch at the Apple store, I realized that the 12.9 inch was, for me at least, a better buy. The 2018 iPad Pro was released with a brand new design, featuring slimmer bezels and therefore a much smaller device footprint. This overall smaller device footprint makes the new 12.9 inch model much more manageable when comparing it to the 12.9 inch models of the first and second generations. Back then I thought that it was kind of pointless to have such a huge iPad, especially considering its heft and its just overall weight. This new iPad was going to be my replacement for using pen and paper because after 12 years of high schooling, middle schooling and like primary schooling, I was simply sick of just the amount of paper that I had left at the end of the year and how much of a burn it was to the environment. As a replacement for pen and paper, I realized that if I was to emulate writing in something like a notebook, I wanted the iPad to be as big as my usual preference for notebooks, which was an A4 size. Now, as it turns out, very conveniently for me, the 12.9 inch iPad Pro is very similar in size to an A4 sheet of paper. Very similar in fact that when I was trying this out at the Apple store, I realized that it didn't really feel that much different from writing in an A4 notebook. This really made me want to get the 12.9 inch over the 11 inch. At this point, the 11 inch iPad Pro wasn't really cutting it for me because of the fact that it wasn't really my preferred size. I'm the type of person who prefers larger handwriting. So on the 11 inch iPad Pro, an A4 sized piece of paper would be scaled down to a very small size. And I realized that the 12.9 inch iPad Pro was really unbeatable in this aspect. Another thing that I hadn't really considered when looking at the 11 inch iPad Pro initially was the fact that iPads are able to multitask. I completely forgot about this fact. When I said that I was going paperless, I also had the intention of using textbooks in their electronic forms because, well, print textbooks are quite heavy and I'm a bit of a wimp. Anyway, using electronic textbooks means that I can have one half of the iPad displaying a textbook while on the other half I have something like a notepad or like a window opened in Notability where I'm taking down notes or doing worked examples or something. Something. At the Apple store, when I was trying out split view multitasking, I realized that my space for actually writing something, if I have, say, the textbook open on one side and Notability or something open on the other side, the space for writing down notes or doing worked examples was dramatically decreased. And this is kind of a problem because as I said, I like writing big. And on the 11 inch iPad Pro, I wasn't able to do this. On the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, even if I use it in split view mode, I can still have a lot of room to write things down as opposed to on the 11 inch model, just because of the fact that the screen is bigger on the 12.9 inch model. So this was my experience when deciding upon which iPad Pro to get and your experience will definitely vary. But one thing that is really important to keep in mind is cost. So the 12.9 inch model is more expensive than the 11 inch model, that's a given fact. And in the late stages of me deciding that I wanted the 12.9 inch model over the 11 inch model, I was looking back at the prices and thinking about whether this was actually a worthy investment. So in the end, I realized that the 11 inch model wouldn't have made me as satisfied as the 12.9 inch model, especially because of my preferences when it comes to handwriting and all that. The 12.9 inch model just ticked way more boxes for me. And in the end, I decided that the price increase was worth it, especially since I was planning on keeping this for at least a couple of years. So that is it for this video guys, I hope that I helped in some capacity, especially if you're looking towards buying a new iPad Pro, and if you liked this video, make sure to give it a hearty thumbs up, if you enjoyed it, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos, and again, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.